Three more ramen, wow! Okay, here we got uh, low carb beef consomme noodles. Uh, low carb noodles packed with fiber. Sounds super appetizing. Beef consomme sounds pretty good though. Let's see how this tastes, even if it's low carb. All right, this smells pretty good actually. Let's, uh, let's try it out. It smelled good, but uh, boy. So there are little beef chunks. Not bad. Gristly little pieces of meat. But at least it has flavor. This is very severely lacking in flavor. I mean, it's supposed to be healthy, but it tastes like nothing. So let's talk about the noodles. The noodles are very gummy. Um, I guess that's a low carb noodle. It doesn't have sort of like the chew that even like the normal default in Sen Ramen has. It's just kind of a gummy, flavorless worm. Let's try the broth. That kind of just tastes like water. That is like lightly salted water. This is pretty incredible in how flavorless it is. It didn't come with a flavor packet, which was a bad sign. So that means the powder was already with the noodles and apparently they added uh, one grain of flavor powder to it. Cause this is, it, it tastes like straight up nothing. It's like the ghost of savory died in this soup and it's like a hundred year old memory of that flavor. Here it is, light brown soup. You can see little vegetables floating around um, and the noodles are in there, but don't be fooled. These are not very good. I had low expectations for these and it was even worse than I thought they would be. So that's incredible. Good start, good start. All right, here's ramen number two. This is the Burtak Bokumyun, it's a new flavor. This is Jajang flavor, which uh, if you don't know what Jajang is, it's a black bean sauce, a Korean black bean sauce, usually with jajangmyeon. Um, I'm excited to try this because I do like jajangmyeon a lot and jajang sauce. Um, and I'm curious to see how it goes with the spicy burtak bokumyeon flavor. All right, here we got our burtak bokumyeon. Um, as you can see, it looks very brown. It looks just like chapagetti, um, which is an instant jajangmyeon. It's definitely got that spice. Um, man, it's been a while since I've had a Burdock Pokemon, but yeah, they're spicy. Um, it's good though. It's got a good, nice, sweet. It's like black bean, but Burdock Pokemon is already sweet. So it's, it's just like a nice combination of the two flavors. It's almost like a, like a meatier, spicier black bean sauce. The spicy sauce is a little more on the forefront, um, but you can definitely taste the black bean. Um, so yeah, it's a really pretty tasty combo. Would I rather eat this over chapagetti? Probably not. I think if I want to eat a black bean sauce instant noodle, I'll get chapagetti. But with that said, this tastes good. It's just, I think those flavors naturally would go well together because they're both pretty sweet. Here you can see those brown noodles. There's some vegetables in here. Oh, there's a pea. Let's try the pea, I guess. It was the most bland pea I've ever had, but um, it's a spicy jajangmyeon. It's pretty much how it, you think it would taste. It's like maybe not one of my favorite uh, Burtak Pokemon flavors, but it tastes like jajangmyeon, so I like it. All right, and finally we got low sodium chuka dashi noodles. These are, I guess, low sodium karushio, uh, which means low sodium with a, it contains gaba. I don't know what gaba is. I assume some kind of flavoring, I don't know. But chukadashi is kind of like a powdered made uh, seasoning made from like, I, mean, I think it could be pork or oyster. Uh, it can be a couple different things. But yeah, let's try and see if uh, this manages to live up to other ramen despite being low sodium. It smells very smoky and savory. I miss the sodium. The flavors are right. It's definitely savory, a little smoky, a little meaty, but wow, it's kind of missing like any salt. I get it, it's low sodium, but it's like that saltiness that you would have with a nice meaty broth is just gone. The um, meatballs, whatever these are, are not bad. They have more flavor than the other stuff. I think this would be tolerable if you really needed to cut down sodium and really wanted instant ramen, but boy, it really is. Even like a pinch of salt, I think would make this much better. And 
I understand low sodium, you know, that's why, but just as just as a taste, it's it's pretty it's not the worst healthy instant ramen I've had. Like this actually has some decent flavor. It's like the ghost of a flavor, um, but it's decent. The noodles are actually okay. A lot, I've had, I had some just bad instant noodles that were just supposed to be healthy and just had gummy, nasty noodles. These noodles are fine. The broth is fine. It's perfectly fine. You can get a closer look. Brown broth, little uh, veggies. Um, so you can see a fish cake there. Uh, little scraps of meat. Pretty, pretty normal looking. I'll just say this. Despite its low sodium, it manages to be tolerable, but it is only tolerable at best. All right, that was three ramen. Bye, suckers.